Okay, hey everybody, I'm going to try to keep this really tight um, so that it won't drag too long. Uh, sorry to start off for if it's a lower quality video, I'm actually filming this on Mabel, my computer, rather than with the uh, camera, just because I needed to bust out a quick video real fast and wanted to give you guys an update on things and talk about some stuff. Plus, I just didn't have time to get out all the camera and everything like that. My brother generally helps me set all that up and he is not uh, able to do that tonight. So this is going to be an episode of Modern Marvel, um, but we won't solely be talking about Marvel. We're actually going to talk about some other stuff as well. Uh, but to just quickly recap, the last Modern Marvel that I did was before the beginning of the summer, or right at the beginning of the summer. It was with my good friend Daniel, who's obviously not with me tonight, uh, but um, he's here in spirit and I will allude to him later. So uh, he was upset that I hadn't been talking about him much anymore because he gets jealous of children's books very easily. Anyway, so uh, since that has happened, I watched the X-Men movie, which I know I didn't put out a review for, but that's because everybody loved it. I loved it. It was going to be redundant if I threw one out there. I will say if you haven't seen it, you should go see it. Uh, there was one thing that really upset me about it. If you haven't watched it, you can put your fingers in your ears right now. I do not understand why, this is the spoiler, plug your ears, I do not understand why Mystique ends up in the after the credit scene on the boat. To me, it would have made a lot more sense if that had remained Stryker, and then you could have streamlined into how Wolverine still has his adamantium skeleton and blah, 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 blah. You, did, you will notice that whenever he kind of regains uh, his memory, excuse me, um, and, and is talking with Professor Xavier, I, I noticed you never see, they never confirm whether or not he has adamantium skeleton at that point. So maybe they haven't even decided what they're going to do. Uh, we'll definitely probably see an X-Men movie that takes place in between that scene and where Days of Future Past ended, I would think. Um, and I will be interested to see that, definitely. Definitely a good move for the X-Men franchise, though I think basically the point of the movie is, the next movie should basically be about how Wolverine goes back in time and kills Brett Renton, because that's kind of what the last Days of Future Past movie's main point was. Forget everything you ever knew about the X-Men movies, um, which is good. Some of those definitely need to be forgotten and is not good in that X2 is still a really great movie. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be all for this one, so I'm going to take my ears on my ears now. <clears throat> all right, so welcome back, everyone who covered your ears for that part. I guess I could have just said restart the movie at three minutes in. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, so saw that. Uh, Shield, of course, has started back up, and... A couple other Marvel announcements have come out uh, to touch on them quickly. A big one that they said, well, Guardians of the Galaxy has come out and everybody's loved that. I think the soundtrack actually was like best charting pop song of the summer or something. Uh, but, so that's great. Um, I will confess, I have not seen that movie yet, in part because there's no reason to go into that. Keep me condensed. Haven't seen the movie yet. I'm planning on actually going here in the very near future when it hits the. Uh, just before DVD house, because we have one of those here. Uh, but anyway, so uh, uh, the other announcement, though, Marvel made was that they are not going to be doing origin story movies anymore. They are going to be putting Doctor Strange, apparently, is the rumor, in um, the Avengers movie that's coming out in the near future, but they're not actually doing a Doctor Strange origin movie. They're just like, it's not going to happen which is brilliant. They should have done this a long time ago. I'm frankly, I don't need to see another how Batman became Batman or how Spider-Man became Spider-Man or how, you know, this person got their power. I'm a comic book nerd, so I knew it before anyway, but I, most people know that stuff at this point. Those, those are not uncommon stories. Who out there doesn't know that Superman is from a different planet? Everybody knows that. Um, and if you don't know it, you don't know who Doctor Strange is. That's a little more French. You know, French. That's fine. Guess what? Every single Marvel origin story is on the internet. Most of them are actually in animated features you can find on YouTube, so you don't even really have to read anything. Uh, so this is definitely good, and anybody that they do need to bring in, they say they're going to use utilize S.H.I.E.L.D. 
to kind of bring them in, which is how it should be done, because you have more space, you have characters who we already know who you can bring them in with, that's the way to do it. When you have a universe that's gotten this big, as Marvel's been trying to do, you've really put yourself in a position where you don't need those cumbersome origin stories anymore. You can work them into somebody else's story. We don't need an origin story for Black Widow at this point, because she's been in two movies. Uh, and so everybody kind of knows her thing, even if you didn't know it beforehand. And anything else that needs to be filled in can always be dropped in later into one other movie. See, that's what's that's what's actually brilliant about how this is done. That's how comic books work, and I um, don't want to rant on that. Um, but, you know, good. I think it was a good move. I was glad to hear that. Uh, they've also said that Iron Man is going to be in the next Captain America movie. And this is the rumor. I think somebody's coming. I don't know, right? but and that it's going to follow the Civil War. I mean, that that word's been thrown out. That it's going to be the Civil War. Um, here's my problem: whenever people say stuff like this, and people get excited, or you know, news leaks come out, people don't understand that a lot of these things. Like when people told me that the X Men movie was going to be Days of Future Past, I was like, okay, well, but that's in three different forms. I mean, you had. You know, the cartoon version, you had two different comic line versions. That can mean a lot of things. Uh, and, and you always have somebody who doesn't necessarily really know what they're talking about when they say this kind of thing. Uh, because that would be like me saying, oh yeah, the next movie's going to have a handgun in it. But, d nothing more than that? I mean, you know, there's more than one type of handgun. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, so I was kind of a little, uh huh, when I heard that. Plus, I was also, like, there was a big thing back when the third Spider-Man movie back in the day, I say back in the day, but wasn't that long ago, really, uh, came out. Some people had said it was going to be based off the ultimate Spider-Man and the ultimate Ven Venom storyline. Um, and so I was like, oh, that's cool. That means this will probably happen and this will probably, and I, I got my hopes built up for a certain type of story, which was not the story I got because I don't really even know what the sort of meant when they said that, looking back on it. I, I mean, in as much as there was Venom in the movie and the Ultimate Spider-Man comic line has Venom in it, I guess. Didn't even really make sense because Venom in the Ultimate storyline is not a space alien, but <clears throat> neither here nor there. Point being, uh, I always, uh, unless Marvel itself says something I tend to be like, okay, I'm, I don't, sure, whatever. Um, but anyway, oh, other news that I could rant about for a little bit. This is going to get us off of movies um, and television shows and actually say, so they're bringing out the new Captain America is going to be uh, an African-American, which is cool. I mean, that's fine. If you had uh, Steve Rogers, which I just realized I just said the last thing that, this might be a spoiler, possibly. Okay, so the Captain America gets assassinated in the end of the Civil War uh, storyline. And so, I guess theoretically he could die in a movie. Maybe that's what they mean, that Captain America is going to get killed. I don't care. Uh, like I said, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, but, you know, that's that's kind of cool. That was a cool announcement. And then there's this thing, though, and this, is, this really confuses me and doesn't make sense to me. And I'm probably going to say something that's going to get me in trouble or something. But there's like this whole, okay, and Thor's going to be a woman. We're bringing in this woman Thor. That makes no sense to me. Okay, you make Captain America and you're going to change and a different guy's going to be Captain America and, and he's black. Okay, so there's a black Captain America. Now that, you know, Captain America, great. Thor isn't a title. Thor is a dude's name. Like, I, this is what I don't get about that movie. And they were really hard. It's like, oh, no, this isn't just somebody. Like, this is Thor. Thor is a woman in this story arc. And, and But that doesn't make sense. When you had Better Ray Bill was wielding Thor's hammer and dressed in the costume and everything because he had to do it for a while, they didn't call him Thor. He was Better Ray Bill doing Thor's job because Thor couldn't do it. Uh, and I don't see why you wouldn't do that. I mean, to me... Some people are standing up and saying, oh, this is a great thing for, you know, like, feminism in comics and and yay, blah, blah, blah. I don't see it that way. I mean, I see you saying, you know, a female character can't carry this role. So you're going to have to basically just 
slap a pair of breasts onto Thor and call him a woman now. And it, maybe it'll be better in execution, but right now I'm sitting here and I'm like, this is dumb. This is really dumb. I mean, if you wanted to take, because the whole thing is like, she get, it was, it's a woman who was saved by Thor back in the day, and now she's taking up the mantle and being Thor. And and it's, it's probably already out by now. I, I so much actually don't care about Thor that it's it's really depressing and sad, given that I'm a Marvel fan. Uh, but uh, I, I've never cared about Thor. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's what I don't get. Like, why not? Okay, let's say her name is Sally or something. You know, you pick it. She'd be Norse. Let's say she's Hilda. Okay, so Thor saves Hilda, and then Thor, for whatever reason, because he's conflicted in his soul or blah, 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 can't wield the hammer. And so this girl, who's now a woman that he saved, who's probably got some street cred by going out and doing stuff, I'm assuming, uh, now she can wield the hammer. It's like, well, why change her name to Thor? Why not just have her be that character and have her fill that role in the Marvel Universe of someone who's that powerful and somebody who's that influential? And But why make why take away that to me you're taking away the weight of her being a female character when you do that like i said maybe it'll be better in execution than it sounds like it's going to be marvel will surprise you that way they will say something that sounds phenomenally stupid and then pull it off really well um so hopefully this will fall into that category uh which brings us to though shield which i did want to talk about uh shield is I should note, so the season has started up, um, S.H.I.E.L.D. is still good, but I am two episodes behind. One, because I watch it on Hulu, so I'm always an episode behind, uh, because it airs a week after on Hulu. And then two, I was traveling last week, so I didn't get a chance to actually watch the most recent episode on Hulu, so I am two episodes behind. Um, it's been pretty good. The season premiere was not bad it wasn't as good as the pilot in my opinion but it was definitely better than some of the slower episodes of the first um season it did have a lot of threads this is what i was talking with daniel I'll bring him back into this daniel formerly the guy who sat next to me and talked during this show uh <clears throat> when I was talking with him, I was like, I felt like there was a lot of threads that were going to a lot of different places, and I realized it was a premiere, so you were actually trying to start more story arcs than you were planning on finishing, you know, immediately. But I almost felt like there was times when it got really close to unraveling. Now, they did hold it pretty close together, so it did end up working, um, I think, for the most part. The subsequent episode episodes, um, again... They haven't been as good as the best episodes of season one, but they've definitely been better than the worst episodes of season one. So it's it's still kind of like I'd say overall the show is still continuing an upward trend. It's just maybe it was kind of like uh, so we'll see. Uh, one thing that I will say, the reveal of Fitzsimmons in the end of the premiere was brilliant. I didn't see that coming at all. Uh, I thought they were going to write out the guy that's yeah, write out Fitz and keep Simmons. Um, and then they had them both. And I was like, oh, but that's kind of cool. And then it turned out they don't have them both. And I was like, oh, wow, they did that really well. Now, what I actually, what I wish would have happened in retrospect, and I kind of even wondered if they were going to do something similar to this, is I wish they would almost kept that same mechanic but made it more deliberate. Instead of it just being a character who's hallucinating and having schizophrenia or multiple personality disorder, I almost wish they would have pulled a page out of Star uh, Gate and, like, you know, so you know Fitz was in the, the coma and then he's woken up, but he has the neurological degradation. And then, like, have him slip back into coma and he's dying and they don't have any way to solve it. But then Simmons does something that, like, transfers Fitz consciousness into her mind through some kind of hydro device, you know, that they just have, oh, let's just do it. And, uh, and then so you have the same kind of setup you have now, just in her mind, and but everybody's aware of it, but at the same time, it's, you know, you almost have this toker thing, who are you talking to, you know, with which, you know, as both personalities start to come out, and she can see him, but nobody else can. Um, that, I, I think, would have been a little more unique, and a, I think a little bit better route to go with it, but they've done it pretty well so far. Uh, in the episodes that I've seen. 
Uh, so I have uh, I have enjoyed the show. Continue episodes. I have enjoyed the addition of uh, Lucy Lawless. Um, I've actually always really liked her. I know she's been in some corny roles, obviously, um, but I feel like she's actually pretty pretty diverse and uh, decent actress. Um, and uh, I'm starting to peter off because that's about all I really have to say on the show. Um, I am looking for. I do think that there will be some good episodes coming up. Now that leads me into uh, the second part that I wanted to talk about, which is going to deal... I'm still going to include it under Modern Marvel because it's still kind of in the same generic vein, um, but I'm going to actually film it as a separate episode where I will be discussing Gotham, the show that has premiered this fall, and uh, some of my thoughts on it. So if you want to hear me talk about a DC show for a while and DC characters, you can jump over and do that. And uh, also note that while um, I've finished the first season of Time is Money, I'm going to be replacing that with a new series that I'm going to be starting hopefully next week um, and try to bring that out on Thursdays. So we will uh, see how that goes. And in the meantime, it, thank you for watching. And if you would like to watch my discussion of... Um, Gotham, that will be in the next video.